In this video, I'll walk you through how to create levels for the prototype game that we created in the previous video. And you can follow the same steps for the game that you're creating. So first, let's do some cleanup. I'm going to rename some of these objects. This is going to be bottom and this one's going to be top. This is going to be enemy top and this one's going to be enemy bottom. Now I remove the other obstacles so I can create an obstacle prefab. Let's create an empty object and this is going to be our obstacle and I'll move enemy top and bottom inside of our obstacle. I want to create a prefab from that so I can drag and drop it here. That's going to make us a prefab and now we can start creating a level. So since the top and bottom for my game is going to be the same throughout the whole game, I'm going to actually move that in my camera. So it's going to follow the camera and I won't have to have those objects inside of my level. Let's create another empty object and this is going to be my level one. Move the obstacle inside here and we can start recreating our level. Some like that. And at the end, what I'm going to do is create another 3D object. Let's make a cube. I'll stretch it 20 in the up direction and I'll make it 0.1. So this is going to be our finish line and I'm going to rename it to finish. Select a tag to be finish for this one. And also let's create a prefab so we can modify it if we want later on. This is going to go at the end of our level. So somewhere here. And I want the box clutter to be is trigger. So let me select the finish prefab and change it here. Move it inside the level. And that is it. That's going to be our level one. So I'm going to create a prefab from this level. Just drop it here. And to create level two, we can remove this level one from the scene. Go to our assets, select that level one, control D to duplicate. And that creates us a level two. We can put it in here and we can make some changes here and then override the level two. Or we can go into the prefab mode and modify it here. So I'm going to do something like that for level two. Just make it short. So that is how you can create levels. So you can duplicate level two again and do the same thing for level three now. And just like that, we created three levels. Now to specify which levels and what order you want to load those levels in, I'm going to create another game object and this is going to be the level loader. And for this game object, I'm going to add a component and it's a level controller. This is one of the script that comes with my unit collection. All you have to do is drag the levels and arrange them how you want. You can reuse levels multiple times. It's just a basic list. And right here, there's an option for order you want to load. So there's an option for sequential. You can randomize them and it's going to continue selecting one of these levels nonstop. Or you can actually start with sequential. So actually go through them once. And then after you finished all the levels, you start randomizing. So that's the option that I'm going to select. Now let's go to our cube and add the logic for when we actually want to load the next level. So let's go to script machine. And currently this is how our logic looks. One thing you can actually do to make some of this mess go away is instead of looping it like that, what you can do is actually use a sequence. And from the sequence, you can specify how much units you actually want to run and in what order. So something like that. And I think this actually makes it cleaner. Now let's add the logic for the finish line. So I'm going to copy this if collide by clicking control D and we're looking for the tag finish. So whenever we collide with the finish line, what we want to do is actually complete the level. So there's a unit called level complete. And what that does is basically returns you if there is a next level or not. The no next level is going to be triggered if you have the order select to sequence and you finish the last level. And that way you can show to the user that the game is done. But in our case, since it's going to first do sequential, and after that, it's going to do random. We're always going to get has next. And what I want to do here is load next level. Also, if you want to restart all the levels, there's a unit that you can use restart all levels and that will start the game from the first level. So let's actually connect that to a keyboard input. I'm going to connect it to R key. So if we click on R now, it's going to restart the levels from the beginning. And now we can build and run the game. And right there, we start at the first level. When we reach the finish line, it's going to load the next level. After we complete all three levels, it's going to start randomly giving us a next level out of those three that we have created. At any point, if you click R, it's going to restart the game from the first level. If you're interested in getting this unit collection, there is a link in the description for the demo units and also a link to where you can get all the units. If you like the video, click on the like button and I'll see you in the next one.